Okay, well today I'm going to do a uh, video regarding uh, ionized water and its effect on the digestive system. Now, this is a picture, basically, of the digestive system. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it a little closer, actually. And um, here, uh, it, you know, here's the mouth, it comes down the stomach here, um, etc. It goes on down. Now, basically, I'll, I'll put this uh, little chart on my blog post when I post this. Basically, the, the thing that I'm studying today is the effect of drinking ionized water, consuming it, having it go into the stomach, and what's, what do we predict will happen with the stomach and the stomach acids. Well, one thing about the stomach is it does not uh, digest uh, water. If water does not need digestion. It doesn't have any calories or carbohydrates, or fats, or anything. So it, it just simply passes through the stomach and then passes into the duodenum, which is the top of the intestines, and it, and it just starts becoming absorbed. Even in the stomach, it's, it's simple enough and ready to be absorbed even right from the stomach. So the various blood vessels that are attached to the stomach walls and intestine walls, will um, the water will absorb into them and then bring that ionized water into the body. Um, but now some of the water will remain and um, it, it will go down into the duodenum and and so after having passed through the intest uh, through the stomach I mean um, it, it's going to pass over a teeny tiny bit of hydrochloric acid that is lying in the stomach uh, awaiting some food particles to come through. Now that little tiny bit of hydrochloric acid is not going to be stimulated to produce any en enzymes from the water because like I said no 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 calories there's nothing to digest. So it's just about maybe a half teaspoon or a teaspoon or or less than a teaspoon of hydrochloric acid that the water will pass over on its way to the intestines. So what I'm going to do as a test of that today is um, I'm going to um, pour ionized water at different levels and I'm going to then test the water and then add some hydrochloric acid to the like a little drop of hydrochloric acid and then uh, see if it changes the pH of that water and and the ORP as well. So in that way that will predict what's going to end up in your intestines. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and start pouring the water. When I, I was going to start at level 4, that's right. Alright, so I'm going to get the strongest alkaline water first. Okay, now I'm going to go to level 3. For that, all right. So while I'm while I'm pouring, I'm going to go ahead and hold on. I've got some just tap water here. I'm just going to rinse these probes in, and then I'm going to just set these probes in the level four water while I'm pouring the rest of this, and turn my meters on. Those things take a while to get um, kind of settled down. All right, so next is the level two. Now I drink my ionized water at level three, and uh, and now the next thing is going to be level one. Um, next thing 
I'm going to do is, oops, I'll turn that off. Uh, we're going to take a look at our uh, meters and see what this level four looks like. All right, so at level four, um, it's an eight, a negative 825 is the ORP, and the pH is a 10.6. Now, I'm going to get some hydrochloric acid out. Or not, I don't have hydrochloric acid. I'm going to get some apple cider vinegar, and I'm going to get some apple cider vinegar. And basically add some of that using a dropper into the, the uh, mix of this water. Just going to put like a drop of this in. And um, apple cider vinegar, by the way, is about a two to a two and a half pH. And um, so well, it's going to be close to close enough to what your stomach acids are, are going to be in your stomach to, to be able to simulate this water being uh, going by uh, the, the hydrochloric acid. All right, so I'm just going to put a drop or maybe three drops, three teeny tiny drops of hydrochloric acid in that water. Now, the the while the water is in your stomach, like I said earlier, some of that will absorb right into your blood. Some of it will pass straight through to your duodenum. And so there might be it might sit in your stomach for a minute or two before it, you know, either passes out into your bloodstream or goes to your duodenum. Now, naturally, when you have two such widely different pHs as the um, the apple cider vinegar and the level four ionized water, even even not stirring it, still there is going to be what's called diffusion happening. It's it's going to equalize. the The pH will eventually uh, you know, if it sat there long enough, um, be you know, it it would be mixed in as if you stirred it. But uh, for the sake of, it's just going to be passing through or absorbed quickly. I'm just going to let it sit for another half a minute here just to see what what it would be.